Ladies and gentlemen, we're back here in the duck call room. It's a beautiful Tuesday. Bells going off right. everywhere. It's a I party today, boys. Slash duck come. It is a party today in the duck call room. That's it. Um, we appreciate y'all joining in on our party. <laughs> and look, if you're new here, be oh, sure you no. subscribe. Be sure you hit that bell, uh-huh. Goblin. And make sure that you have notifications turned on so you get all the new updates. Look, in a couple of weeks. That means your phone goes off and vibrates. <laughs> in a couple. Get, get a notification. What if we could make the notifications be size special birthday duck call? What are these things called? Or what if the notification was just, hey, Jack. <laughs> yeah. I like this no, thing. no, hey. Yeah. No, but no, anyway. no, 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 hey, it's my birthday. No, no <laughs> means yeah. And Okay. Last thing I need being sent to me is a bunch of sweets. Okay, before we get uh, into that uh, any further, yeah. look, one last time, youtube.com slash duck call room, all one word. You'll be entered to have a Zoom call with Uncle Si once we get to 40,000 subscribers. <laughs> 40, so, Goblin, be sure you subscribe. You may be the winner. You I may mean, be the winner. I, hey. I'd get to talk to Sam. All right, you get a Zoom with me, boy. Uh, yeah. You don't even have to be in the same room with him right. anymore. Hey. I don't think I am subscribed. That's terrible. You're not subscribed? I'm, let me check. That's, That's terrible. terrible. Oh, you're not going to subscribe? I, I mean, I meant to. I just don't know hey. if I am. Does that mean I, I I just... How dare you? The only thing I can think of right now, if you don't subscribe, is dope up you. Uh-oh. He's like gonna, a purple He's going to hit me again. Like, a, get like a purple tail one. No, like, like a orange. Once we get to 40,000 subscribers, all you have to do is comment on any video. Mention Sai in that video, and you're automatically entered. But you have to be subscribed to our new YouTube channel, youtube.com slash duck call room. Soon it will be the only place you can find uh, the duck call room episodes. You will have a chance to win 15 minutes with the man of himself. And I can honestly tell you, 40, it'll be 15 minutes. You're glad that you won. It'll be a cool thing to sit there and wow. talk with this old, old <laughs> rascal. But anyway, check it out. <laughs> YouTube.com slash duck call room. All one word. But here we go. Anyway, birthday boy. Sir, happy dad gum birthday. Well, thank you, sir. Happy dad. Y'all ready? I'm 73 uh, years young. 73. Birds. You don't even have to pay full price for your hunting license. That's right. Or fishing Discount, license. boys. He's Discount. harmless. <laughs> he harmless. Discount <laughs> city. Harmless <laughs> as a hill ham when they pull your teeth. Yeah, As-a- harmless as a hill They don't figure I kill nothing, but I get Let's my share and birthday. a bunch of other people's share, boys. You want to sing him happy birthday? Let's go. Go ahead. Happy birthday to side. Happy birthday to Sai. Happy birthday, Silas Merritt. Happy birthday to you. J.D., you make a pitiful elephant. For he's a jolly good fellow. Yeah. Hey. He's a jolly good fellow. Hey. <laughs> Bell broke. Um, no good. I it's, like that. It's hard to believe. It's seventy three years ago today. The world changed forever. Right. Silas Merritt uh, yeah, came right. into it, and like sixty five years later, the whole world knew who he was. I it paid it off. Uh, hey, I like your little sash there. Silas. Gone undone. That came in the mail. A Did diamond it? in the rough, boy. Awesome. We've been getting a lot of mail. So I would you? Yeah, can, I feel like one of them. A uh, girls in the beauty pageant. Yeah. You look like yeah. one, too. Hey, watch it. Watch, yeah. it. watch it. The question is, will you be participating in the swimsuit competition? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't going Pigeon there. legs. You ever seen hey, any hey. short-legged You don't see, but, uh, you know, chicken, chicken, chicken legs. Chicken you, legs. You riding it. And a you? young chicken legs. Oh, oh yeah. Very, okay. very pale as well. That's yeah. right. I saw right. them whenever I went to ask him if he took his medicine during the COVID days. That's right. And then he left. <laughs> <laughs> Never need to see he said he again. was scared. Oh, hey, question. Goodness. Did this stuff, the birthday paraphernalia, is that what this would be considered? Mm-hmm. That's what that's considered. The, the yeah. sash. Did that come with these Oreos? It did. It come with all of them goodies. It okay, did. so there wasn't a note, but I found the email. Let's go oh. ahead and call her out because okay. she's solid. Her name's Brittany. It's a good name. Um, Brittany. Solid that, name. That's not and her birthday's Martin's a, Brittany. No, different Brittany. Different Brittany. I don't know where this Brittany's from. It's probably from Tennessee. Who knows? That's a good state. Solid one. 
Hey, uh, but she has straight, the boy. same birthday as you, and that's why she sent oh, all this. Wow. Stuff. Hey, April 27th. Well, in that case, Brittany, happy, happy birthday. birthday. There it is. Golly. And but, Brittany, hey. I don't appreciate the Irish spring. Hey, Brittany. <laughs> six we, hey, Brittany, right. we do. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now, if we, hey, if his wife will only make him use it. It was yeah. one time. Okay, we'll be in good shape. One Brittany. time. Well, he's going to has a sense of humor. He's mm-hmm. going to smell even better because they're in the midst of a bathroom remodel anyway. Hey, so. y'all remember? Is episode- they getting a new bidet? No. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> no. Hey, yes, what? and a very nice one. A nice one. Hey, but remember- he's upgrading, boys. Mem- well, uh, but, 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 before we well, just uh, tell the folks at home how much you decided to spend on your new toilet. I'm not telling anybody nothing. Come on. Hey, come on, J.D. Thanks go. for listening. Come on. Come, come hey, on. You got my curiosity running no, rampant. So remember the first episode like we ever did was Christmas, and we talked, this soap smells delicious. Uh, not delicious. Oh, no, hey, that's Wonderful. good soap. That's good it, soap. No, that's good stuff. It um, will cover all your odors. Trust me. I no, use it, so I know. All right. Hey. And I've never smelled it. It will cover the funk on your junk. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, so hey. the like first episode, I said I wanted a bigger bathtub. Well, ladies and gentlemen, have you got one? It's on the way. It's on the way, boy. They have uh, ripped my uh, bathroom and my closet down to the studs because it was made for like five, seven people. Well, not six, hey, two people. Hey, there's nothing wrong. Let with me five, be the first <laughs> to congratulate you on your new bathtub. Well, how much was your toilet? No, it was yeah. enough. What was hey? It what was, was less the, than I get paid for. This no, no. Podcast. What was the price tag? You got to tell us. Uh twelve hundred dollars. It was. Okay. Le- I bought a toilet that costs more than my I lawnmower. Think, I think. <laughs> I think it's got a couple of zeros added no, to no, that. No, no, not a chance. It just yeah. don't make no yeah. sense. Hey, look. Yeah. Okay, twelve hundred dollar toilet. So let me tell you something. <laughs> well, how would a fifteen hundred dollar one make you feel? Do you know what you put Uh-oh. in it? No, no, listen. <laughs> Whenever you go up to it, the I light paying comes. paying that much for nothing that you're going to just destroy. Said, hey, Did you hear this, Godwin? It's, you not, it's, not, there. it's not worth it because of what you put in it. <laughs> no, look, this one has a light. Okay. It missed. The seat's warm, and it's got a blow dryer. But <laughs> all that being said, Godwin's looking he's, at me funny. He's funny. <laughs> no, he's I'm not. not. You're no, coming over, Godwin. No, unfortunately, he is not funny. He's dead serious. And okay. we were saving this till the end, but since we're on bidets, hey, Si, you had something come in the mail today. Yeah. With great honor and dignity that I send you a very special gift. David says that from Burnips, Michigan. From Burnips, I think. Is Michigan? MI Michigan? Mm-hmm. I yep. used to be so good at that. Now I'm like, is it Mississippi? Is it yeah. Michigan? He sends it to you and he gives us his phone number. And now I'm going to say that on, just kidding, David, but he sent you. Your very own bidet attachment from Amazon, and you well, can put hey, that on look, your toilet at home. No. Mm. Okay. I appreciate the thought behind it, but it's a, that will be a big no. No. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. put it on the. Put it I'm on putting it on the. There's a toilet right behind that wall. Uh, there's a wall. It's me and Martin's okay. toilet. He said, behind the wall, boy. No, we're, we're putting it in. So it's you an don't addition want, to the duck want, commander want, toilet. It's going to be the duck commander. That's right. Goblin, uh, do you want me to put it on your toilet at work? No. Nah. <laughs> All right. Goblin said, no. I, uh, 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 I still can't get past Goblin saying, do you know what you put in it? That's right. <laughs> do you know what you put in it? Uh, that's why I like to take care of it. Have you got any it. idea that you spent that yeah. kind of money right. for what you put in it? Oh, man. That's good. <laughs> well, That's rich. I don't care who you are. Let, that's funny. It really is. It is. That's yeah. right. So the dude doing my bathroom. Whenever he sees the quote from the play, like you buy the bathtub, you buy everything from the same place. And he goes, no, 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 that's too much. I said, I, look, there's a toilet on yeah, there. That's it's exactly a, right. It's the problem. And you know what? <laughs> that toilet's giving me a job right now. Just getting on, telling the fans at the duck call room all about fancy toilets. That's that, boy. And so I'm going to give back to the bidet community and spend all the money that I make from this podcast on a toilet. On the toilet. Okay. His toilet got more functions than my truck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I saved $100. The heat, the heat works. The air works. I it's s- got a mister. In other words, this is the luxury model with all the bells and whistles. I did leave off one bell and whistle. <laughs> it doesn't open and close on its own just when you walk up to it. 
I felt like that was just something that was going to end up breaking. He said he thought that was going. That was up. too far. That was going. <laughs> it was, you know, if it was open up, no, that's going even too know far. What to say. Yeah. Enough about I mean, me. It's that, your birthday. Do they make one with a jukebox where it'll just like play you a little ditty while you're sitting down there? That. Before you drop that quarter, <laughs> <laughs> let uh, me give you some one small request. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I That's do. Great. It's a oh, new meaning to toilet humor. That's here. It, boys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I appreciate the soap. Oh. Si appreciates oh. the things. Uh, Happy oh. birthday, Uncle Si. Well, I, thank you very I feel much. ridiculous. This isn't supposed to be about me and my... Me. Yeah, that's, that's, no, but that's your yeah. gift to Si is to tell him how much you spent on your toilet. Because right. now yeah, he's okay. judging you hard. Oh, but, I am yeah. too. Yeah, look, so it's yeah. going. That, that's just a Tuesday night. Yeah, I'm on. actually I'm more concerned about Willie and his business now. <laughs> Willie and who's business? Okay, since you're his right-hand man... That I would spend if that you on spend a, that kind of money on on a piece of junk, it's not junk. It's very nice. Oh no, no, it's junk because of what Gavin said. Okay, it's junk because of what's being put in it. Okay, trust me. I, it's, it's just I just yeah, don't. Yeah. I can't. I just. <laughs> <laughs> You're I, at a loss for words, aren't you? I am. I, I, you well, look, I, look, here's the deal. Let's take a break. We'll see if we can find your words. That's and we'll be hey, back right after right. this. We'll have a discussion, maybe, Ludicrous. if we can find the Ludicrous. words. I am interested in these, though. Let's face it, taking trips to the post office is probably not how you want to spend your time. That's why we recommend mailing and shipping online at stamps.com. If you order something from Duck Commander, that's how we send it to you. Stamps.com. Stamps.com. Because they sent us a free scale. Well, technically. Martin, have you ever sat on that scale? No. It's not big enough for you. It's only for packages, man. Calm down. Hey, I can stand on it. it I'd be expensive <laughs> to ship. Hey, it would be expensive. It's it's class, be, especially if I was overnighted. Guaranteed. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> but, look, you order from Duck Commander, Fin Commander, Struck Commander, Buck Commander. It's coming to you via stamps.com. They've made our lives a lot easier. It'll ship with USPS, UPS, and many more. They have saved businesses like ours thousands of hours and tons of money. With Stamps.com, you get the services of the post office and UPS all in one place. That's fantastic. Ain't that awesome? It saves amazing. you money, folks. And the, you get stamps on the internet. So stop wasting time going to the post office and go to Stamps.com instead. There's no risk. And with my promo code DUCK, you'll get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in DUCK. That's Stamps.com, promo code DUCK, Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. And it saves you money. Saves you money. I, I want to know. Move on. <laughs> 73 years. Sigh. 73 years of wisdom. I got questions. What you that. what you got? Like what what 73 years of wisdom? Yeah. yeah. I Maybe. mean, you may only have well, a couple of years of wisdom in there. Well, I think so, cuz I ain't been, you know, kind of just uh, storing up wisdom here, boys. I've Perseverance. Been, I've been living. They You've been still, living. I like still it. Still gravel roads around here when he's young. Yeah. Uh, that's right. They, they didn't have they didn't have asphalt when I was young. Yeah. It was dirt and mud. They didn't have that's why all you rednecks from Louisiana know how to drive on snow. They drive on muddy roads all the time. Did you just say we know how to drive on snow? Yeah. Were you? Did you drive during the snowstorm? No, I didn't leave the house. Nope. Hey, when <laughs> there the were cold, cars in every when, ditch. Hey, when there's ice outside, this boy don't go outside. Okay. He ain't frosty. That's like, hey, when ice, I don't go duck hunting. Mm -mm. You know, Jason and them can take a chainsaw and cut them a big hole and go kill a duck. Huh. I ain't that mad at them. Okay. I'm going to stay where it's nice and warm. I am with you. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, what they call a fair weather hunter. Well, hey, it's 73, fire, 73, you've earned that right. All right. Yeah. So. All right. Bring the heat, boys. Bring the heat. Because let's be honest, if you don't kill another one in your life, oh, I've got you've my already share. got plenty. Yeah, I've got my <laughs> share of them, trust me, when yeah. I tell you this. So yeah. what year were you? Especially in the Moss Lake days. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Well, we don't want to go there. Yeah, yeah we don't want to go there. Okay, statue of limitations may not have run out. Amen. Seventy-three, it probably did. Uh, um, yeah. What Amen. year were you born? What year were you born? I was born in nineteen forty-eight. Nineteen forty-eight. We're about to do a little fun. 
What was the number one song in 19? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. That would be something interesting to know. Google it, JD, and find out. Famous oh. birthdays, April 26, 1948. We, Cy Robertson's not on there, so this website can go away forever because they well, don't know you, what they're talking about. Hey, they you didn't need even to have go my to birthday. the 27th. They didn't even have my birthday. <laughs> oh, I'm shot. So you, and I'm just crushed. You're, you're a day early, Jay. It was a Monday. You Monday, are, Monday. You are 26,665 days old. That's cool. That's all right. <laughs> You've slept for 24 years. And, no, and, and no, no, that's not I, even I, true. That's incorrect. 24 and a half. <laughs> that's about 30. Let me update 35. that. 24 and a half, boys. Uh, Nap every day. And I you've were, been alive for 38 million minutes. 38 million minutes. I remember the, when I first come to work. For duck commander, so I would come in, drink a cup of coffee, pour some tea, drink his tea, lay down on the couch, and, and go take, take a nap. nap. Yeah, take a nap. And he'd come out there about eleven o'clock. Miss Kay would call for dinner about an hour later. He'd go in there and eat and eat. And then, then after ta- hey, take a nap. And after you eat, you and gotta about, take a nap for your, for digestive system yeah. to work. Then he'd come back out there and he'd stretch real big. <sighs> Well, I about had all I can stand today, boys. <laughs> you go last. Uh, I typed in the wrong day. I know. I was no, telling you. It's the 27th. It's the 27th. Not the 27th. On, it, you are on Wikipedia, though. I'm on Wikipedia. He's in ni- on Wikipedia. Important things that happened in 1948. Cy Robertson. Was born. Television personality. Was born. Vivian, Louisiana. That's it. Woo. Well, Cy, have you gotten any other interesting birthday gifts? Miss Christine get you anything? No, she didn't. Ooh. Well, she only she only spends what I make. Gotcha. Okay, and she don't spend it on me. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> what about she's, you? She spends it on herself. What about your brother Phil? Did he get you anything? No, and I didn't get him nothing either. That's the Robertson way, boys. <laughs> Tell me, hey, you just another year older and a little bit uglier. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so nothing, si walked, nothing has changed, boy. I can boys. tell you what happened. Si walked in the fields, and Phil looked at him and said, well, you made it. Another year. That's right. Another year, boys. Yeah. We're the last two standing out of our family. Yeah. And we're getting real long in the tooth, boys. <laughs> well, you got Real another, long. You got another three or four decades in you. Uh, well, maybe. Si, do you know how much it cost to get a gallon of gas when you were born? I think it was like. Thirty-two cents, sixteen cents. Oh, it's sixteen. Well, sixteen. Well, hey, gallon of gas. I was close. Out. He was getting premium. Yeah, I was yeah, one of them pumps close. that was had the gas in the top of it, you fill up the top. Yeah, you look gravity fed. Phil and his buddy, Bill Conley, and Bill had an old old mobile. I think what it was, and what they put in it was uh, drip. From a oil well, it was about half diesel, and you know. Did it work? Yeah, it run cool. that car. <laughs> they had no, no. They had it dripping in a fifty-five gallon drum, and we had one of them little pumps you put in there and pump it, pump the gas and the, the drip in the whole car. That's incredible. Huh. And hey, they had probably burnt the motor up later, but I mean, you know, it worked while we was driving it. All right, That's so- all we was concerned with. <laughs> All right, Si, what was the average wages for a year the year you were born? Oh, good grief. $8,000. Wrong. Nope. Dang. Probably about about six. 2950 bucks. Really? 2950 bucks. And what job was that? Well, I don't know. That's, That's just, just average. 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 $2,000? And you could get a uh, brand You're talking about new- poverty level, boys. No. Not back then. Not well, I just place. know, hey, we used to pick cotton, you know, or whole cotton all day long, 50 cents an hour. That was from daylight to dark. And if you did that for 2,500 hours, you could buy yourself a new car. Because a new car when you were born was only 1250 bucks. 1250 bucks. I want to get like a sack full of money and get a time machine. And go back. Go back and just buy a bunch of stuff. And be a millionaire. He'd be the Apple man. I don't know how what far the? you're going back, but <laughs> I'd pause man. somewhere around the invention of the air conditioner. Huh. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> he said, pause is that year, boys. He said, 
Either that or I'd change the location Look, somewhere the, much cooler than the here. The cell phone, remember Star Trek? They talking that, then the flip phone come out. Oh, hey, our and first, that our first phone was a, a string and cans. Yeah, and okay. and then the computer, computer come along and. Oh, that thing as big as a house. Yeah. Yeah, a Let's computer was a warehouse, boys. The wheel, the wheel come along. <laughs> uh, oh, the guy was going back, back in the caveman days yeah. when they yeah. invented the wheel for him. Oh man! <laughs> si, what was it like the first time you saw fire? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was? What do you think that hey, was? That was lightning, boys. That's, that's what that. That's where that come from. Lightning from heaven above. Oh. That's good <laughs> well, let's take another break. We'll be right back after this. We're going back in time without the time machine, boys. Let's talk about size childish. Godwin, did you know that in 2020, nearly 5 million people purchased firearms for the first time? That's a lot, but I don't blame them. <laughs> that is a bunch. Look, here's the deal. The cost of ammo going through the roof, the cost of everything with everything in general going through the roof now is more important than ever to figure out how to save some money look so the folks at iTarget invented a system that'll help save you money what you got so you stuck your finger out. no no Are you stopping me i'm good no oh okay. he's thinking i was i was, I was just making sure i saw no. that one i just wanted no. to make sure no. but they invented iTarget to give law-abiding citizens a cost-effective way to train in the safety and privacy of your home no longer do you have to Take inconvenient trips to the range or go buy expensive ammo. All you have to do is download iTarget's proprietary app, load the laser bullet into your firearm, and start your training experience. Dry fire training will help develop muscle memory, sharpen target reaction speed, sight alignment, trigger function, and more. iTarget Pro comes in all the major calibers, including 223 for your AR, so you can stay sharp with almost any firearm. Today, you can save 10%, plus get free shipping with offer code DUCK at checkout when you go to iTargetPro.com. This is the smartest way for you to practice, and it pays for itself in one day. That's the letter I, targetpro.com, slash duck. Lasers. I want one. We're alive. Hey, we're going back in time without a time machine. What? Back in time. Hey, look. The flux capacitor. You were talking about when the TV showed up? The TV, See, it didn't yeah. show up at the house. Okay, it showed up at the what was out the window? local store. You had to go okay. to the store to watch. TV? Yeah, we had to go to the store on Saturday morning to watch cartoons first, and then western second. So we watched Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and what's the uh, Elmer Fudd and Matt yeah. Dillon, that rascal. And then Wabbit. yeah, that rascal Wabbit. We got to kill him. And then we watched Mal- uh, Matt Dillon. Okay, on Gunsmoke. Hey, I- Donna. And, hey, and look, Roy Rogers, Whip Wilson, okay, the guy that had a big, long 12-foot whip, whip, and hey, he would beat you to death with it, take your gun away from you. I, I believe you. You know, hey, <laughs> slap you off a horse when you ride by. <laughs> so Who was that? Whip Wilson. Whip Wilson. Whip Wilson. Yeah. I'll YouTube it. I'm and look, to... hey, people try to gun him down, fast guns. He'd pop it again out of the hand. I actually am super interested in this. Yeah. Hey, I do have a question. Then when he reached for it on the ground, he'd crack that hand good. True story. Yeah, blood, mm. boys. Blood oh, running this everywhere. Awesome. Hold on. I got to watch oh, this. But hey, he whooped up. I do whooped have the a, fire out of you with that he, whip. You'd whoop the fire out of me. What I want to know what April 27th, like 1956 was like. What did you do on your birthday? Yeah, where were you? As an elementary kid. As an elementary kid, I was getting in trouble with principal. On your birthday? Uh huh. Well, just hey, that year, <laughs> yeah, I got in trouble. You were only no. I'm saying like, but what did you do for your birthday as a kid? Well, mom would bake us a cake, what of kind, course. Was it good? And we'd get a beating, of course. <laughs> okay, and then one to grow just on, and then one to grow on. Okay. So, Did hey. you and Phil have to split a birthday cake since y'all were so uh, close, or y'all? We just, yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. He, she'd cook one. So you're two days, three days later. We'll just, we'll do it on Phil's birthday, but you got three days later. Don't worry about it. 
Don't worry about if it. I, the, I, hey, that's why I had a identity crisis, okay? <laughs> he never. Nothing was Zion ever. never had his own birthday party. That's right. Party. Didn't have my birthday. Home birthday. Well, I, I didn't get you a cake, but somebody got you some Reese's. I see that. And, hey, I, you boys, all you fat boys are hitting them pretty heavy, too. <laughs> and, hey, I don't need it because I got a big belly growing myself. Yeah. I love this. I can sit here and listen to Cy go down memory lane and tell. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, hey. This is fantastic. Look. That was back in the day where we grew up. It was in a farming community. Well, they all had cows. So every year, it was what, after wintertime, I think, they would all go down to the cotton gin, okay, bring their horse trailers and their horses and unload them, and then they'd all go to whoever's land they would go to first and round hills up, then go to the next guy and round hills up. But while they had them tied up at the cotton gin, I was just like a... I'd be jumping from horse to horse. Sit on him while I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a good one. Jump on another one. That's a good one. Yeah. You just ride strangers' horses? That's fair. No, he wasn't yeah. riding them. He just I wasn't riding on them. them. I was just setting them. He's just testing them out. Testing that's them what out. I do. Hey. I'm afraid of horses. You got to check got, them out and make hey, sure. I actually, as a kid, I actually got charged with horse theft. Horse theft? Yeah. Tell the story. Was, no, no, that back in the day when they hung horse thieves. Okay, so I, okay. Don't, I don't know if you know why we made this podcast, but it's for uh, this moment right here when well, you hey, look, tell about being no, no. charged with horse My thieves. next door neighbor, okay, was Tommy McKinney. Okay, mm-hmm. he owned a horse, old Dan. Old Dan. And Tommy old McKinney Dan. had told me, hey, anytime you want to ride old Dan, you know where the, the saddle is and the bridle, go out there and saddle him up and ride him anytime you want to. Yep, he's two weeks from everywhere. Okay, so no, no, no. So, hey, look, me and the kids, you know, the neighborhood kids, uh, you know, want to go fishing. So I said, well, I want to go up there to the pond, which is about, oh, five, six hundred miles, I mean, five ah, or six hundred yards away. Yeah, that was a journey, not a... Yeah, that was a journey. Okay, so I said, <laughs> I don't want to walk, so I'm going to saddle with old Dan, and I'll ride up there. The horse's name is Old Dan? Old Dan, old yeah. Dan. So look. That's a good horse hey, name. I saddled him up. Okay, get on him right away. You know, the next thing I know, I'm up there fishing, tearing the catfish up. Mud cat. You know, just every cat. Start there. Mm. Fine, gr- fine grocery. Oh, yeah. No, they ain't no, no, they ain't, they ain't no good, but they're funny cat. But anyway, here comes the kids, okay? Uh, Mr. McKinney, he he uh, he done charged you a horse theft. I said, do what? He said, yeah. They got the law of the sheriff down there right now. They out looking for you. You, know, you fix the hang. <laughs> was this eighteen forty eight or not? Uh, no, no, it was, it was you know, in the fifties, in the fifties. So hey, I jump on that horse and look, he liked to fail with me because I was running wide open. He was old. He tripped. Oh damn, that's why they called him old. No, no, oh, damn. Damn. no, 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 no. He he yeah. was look, he was, he was going tan. down and it was all I could do to ran him back to bring him up where he didn't fall. Because we think to have a bad tumble here, son. Oh, dude. Me and the horse. Yeah. So I come up there and I said, hey, what's the problem? And you're on this man's horse? Oh, no, yeah. I said, what's the problem here? Your son has told me that I could ride this horse any time I get ready. He said, well, hey, my son has done lied to you because it ain't his horse. It's mine. Now, this is his dad telling you. And I said, y'all need to get y'all story straight. Okay, so, you know, I was at the birthday party when you gave him that stupid horse. Okay, so it was his horse, and he told me I could ride it. So, hey, I don't want to hear this story about horse theft. But here's your horse back. <laughs> That's right. But, hey, <laughs> but here's your horse back. Now, you want me to unsaddle him, or you going to do it? <laughs> you know, he said, hey, you just stay away from him. I'll unsaddle him. I said, Roger that. God. He's the same one. No, no, he's the same one, okay. They had a boat. Did you steal it too? No, 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 no. He let it. He let it rain. It rained. Okay, and it sunk the boat. So for five years, I'm looking at this boat on on the bottom of the creek down there. So you know, I said, okay, it's been five years. He ain't worried about that boat. He don't care about it. So hey, me and the kids, the neighborhood kids, we all wade out there, drag this big heavy boat full of water, bail it out. Okay, it's got four or five holes in it. I get with Daddy and say, Daddy, I need some tar 
you know, so I can tar the bottom of this boat and fix this hole. He said, okay. So he brings me a blowtorch and some tar. You know, so, hey, we work on this thing for like a month. Fixing the holes and putting board on it and putting tar on it and, you know, doing the bottom of it. And the first time we out there, we're in it fishing, tearing them up, getting them. We're on the brim bed, just ever cast, big old brim, bluegill. You know, he comes up and says, uh, what are you doing in my boat? I said, well, you left it on the bottom of the creek for five years. I figured you'll find us keepers here. You know, and he said, no, that's my boat. And he said, uh, you put it right back where it was. Well, hey, I shouldn't have done what I did, but okay, buddy. <laughs> you know, so I paddled up to the bank, told the kid, hey, hand me that axe. You know, we had axe and tools down there where we was fixing it up. I said, hand me that axe. So I paddled out in the creek. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Right, headphones off. Right in the middle. Shot, shot, baby. Everything off. Okay, right in the middle. Okay. Off. I'll stand up. And, hey, boom, right in the bottle of, bottle of it, you know, bottom of it. Axe goes through it about three times. Then I said, no, that ain't quite good enough. Okay. Right field. Left side of the boat. Off. I'm you now and it's going down. Right side of the boat off. You know, and I put that come walking out. So I'm like, there it is. It's back where it was at, son. Just like I had it. <laughs> you know, all he threw a fit. I come home. Daddy comes home and I come home too. <laughs> and daddy said, I already take his belt and just wear you out and i said well let me get give me my side of it first he said your mom's done told me your side of it and he said i ought to beat you he said but i'm not because the man was wrong you know he said but and i said well wait a minute i got a question to ask you daddy i said you're off the hook why are you bringing it back well up? no no because i just had no i said you need to learn when to run what was the problem with him he seen that thing laying on the bottom of the, the creek for five years. Didn't care. Didn't get two cents worth for that boat. Now, what's his problem when he watches a bunch of kids work a whole month fixing it and then are having a time of their life out there catching fish out of it? Thank you. And he just can't stand it. Couldn't stand for it to be happy. No, well, no, no. Couldn't stand for seeing kids actually something that used to belong to him, you know, just couldn't stand it watching us have some fun out of it. So Mr. McKinney was kind of a screw. Oh you know, no, huh? he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah. You know. God. Yeah. You know, Daddy said, "Hey, you you got <laughs> over this one with this one." He said, "I'll beat beat you badly." He said, "But I, in all honesty, I can't do it." He yeah. said, "Cause I'd have done the same thing." That's what he was thinking. Yeah. That's terrible. I will say I really did use Sunday, and it was just it was kind of fun. Did you, you sit look, there and you spray? You the always old. look across the street and say, "Boy, that's he going to pass Sunday." No, no. I'm I'm determined to have the best looking yard no. all my street. Now, now and with that's the, why I use Sunday. Now with the Sunday.com products, look, we are the greener pastures. Thank You're you. the greener oh. pastures on the other side of the fence. Uh huh. Everybody's gonna be trying to get on the other side of that oh. fence right now. So, look, here's a cool thing. You go into the uh, go to getsunday.com, put in your address, they'll map your yard, tell you exactly what you need based off your soil type. Super easy, takes all the guesswork out of it. Yes. And then you just click whatever package you want. They've got as little of a bite or as big as a bite as you want to take. Depends on how you want your yard to look. They right. take all the guesswork out of growing a greener, more beautiful lawn this spring and summer. Visit getsunday.com slash duck to get $20. Off your custom lawn plan at checkout. That's twenty dollars off your custom plan at getsunday.com slash duck. I use that. I'm interested in that. So they just what do you do? They provide everything but the water hose. I got one. It's the lawn care boy. I, 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 I use the little pet spot thing. Yeah. Because my basset hound is twelve and a half years old and once he gets to the grass, he ain't going any further. So it's the same place I was getting kind of gross on the grass, you know what I'm saying? It's really good. Really 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 and really so I sprayed yeah. it with the the pet spot thing and it's uh, it's working See? quickly. That's what it's I'm turning working. green. Get Sunday dot com slash duck. And I've run up on people like that, like, cause like one of them, when I was in the military, and the guy had chicken coops. And what he did was he spent a little money on them and made apartments out of them. 
apartments out of chicken, out of chicken coops. coops, and I lived in one of them. Okay, the walls were paper thin. But anyway, I look at it. It's about a two acre lake down there, and you know, everybody told me said, "Man, that thing is full of big bass and ever, you know, crappie and everything." So I went in the winter time. Yeah, you know, went down there and knocked on the guy's door, sat down and talked to him about an hour on his porch. Told him, "Hey, man, let me fish fish in your pond." You know, he said, "No, I got a rule on it." But I said, "Hey, look, I'll make an agreement and shake hands with you." You know, if you let me fish on it, if you find something wrong, if I've been on your property and you find something wrong, I won't leave until I fix whatever you find wrong. So he let me fish, you know, and hey, all during the winter I'm fishing, I know I ain't catch, go, gonna catch nothing. I'm waiting for when they get on the bed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so hey, I'm looking forward to it. Here it comes, okay, February, March, April, May. They're on the beds, and I, I'm driving by it and see them swirl out there, about 10 of them, just bulls I'm talking about. So he done told me I could fish, so I go down there. He's not home, the old man ain't, but his son is. So I throw in one of them big beds and catch the one that weighs about seven and three-quarter pounds, you know, and I keep him in a bath. First thing I did is stupid, okay, is I went and showed the sun. Mm-hmm. You know, caught, I caught one of the big bass today, you know. So the next day I was coming back and was going to catch some, a couple of more of them. As soon as, as soon as I drove in, he come out and cussed me and told me, Oh, you tore up, you know. And I said, wait a minute. I done what? You tore up, you know. And I said, well, hey. I said, get in the golf cart. Take me down there whatever I, before you say I tore up. And I'm I, I'm not leaving until I, until I tell fix it. I, I shook hands with you on it. My words, my bond. I ain't leaving your property until I fix it. You know. So he, he all around, I said, you might as well get in the golf cart and take me for it's broke because I'm not leaving your property until I fix what you told show me is tore up. Well, <laughs> ain't nothing tore up. You called my pass. I said, all right, now I'll leave. <laughs> you know, he caught the man's uh, fish. Oh, no, uh, caught the man's fish, and he could not stand it. I love Was it. he trying to catch the fish? Uh, no, he didn't give uh, two cents about that bass. Most people can. He just didn't want me catching him and having fun. Why are people such scrooges? No, no, hmm. I don't understand. Uh, yeah. Hey, you start messing with men's fish, their dogs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't, don't badmouth nobody's dog. Yeah. You can badmouth my dog. Yeah. Hey. Well, Si, look, you're, you've made it to 73. Is I just I think inquiring minds want to know. Is there anything in your life? Well, I got two. It's a two-parter for you. Two-parter. Ooh, a and a B. You got is there, is there anything in your life you do different, A, no. and B, is there anything left on your list to accomplish? Is there something mm. you're like, man, I need to do this? I mean, you're 73, so I would say that time may be against you, but you're the ageless wonder, so I don't know. I don't know. No, no. Three the only decades. thing, the first one is, okay, would I change anything? No. Nothing. Love it. Nothing. Love it. I really wouldn't. And I believe because, that. I don't think you're just No, no, because so. I, I just, because I look at where we was, where I started from, and look where I ended up. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah, yeah. There's a song oh, no. about that. Yeah, no, 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 no. That, and look, that's why I tell people all the time, and, and they never, I don't think they ever really listen to what I say, that I am living proof there is a God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit in heaven. They're alive and they're well, doing well. And they're doing things with the most unlikely people. Amen. Okay? Because I am actually one of those <laughs> that he's doing things with. Uh, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> it's, it's, I wouldn't change nothing. It's actually been a, a privilege to be part of what he's been doing. Just to be there to watch it, because mm -hmm. I've watched him use the Ro Robertson family and friends and employees. He pointed at us on that. Do one. oh no! Yeah. Do, I don't know if we're friends. No, or no, no, no. Anymore. Well, you're both. <laughs> yeah, you're both. But he's done so many amazing things with all of us that it was just the coolest thing to be a part of it. All I got to say to yeah. that is amen. No, no, yeah. I, I'm serious. It was really was. That's why I said I would not change nothing 
But on the other hand, what have I got that I'd like to do? Other than we know the one, don't bring well, no, that no, one no, back up. No, 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 I can say, yeah, it's, the car is the one, okay, the dragster, okay? And I would have to be right near on my way out to do it because that guy's telling me it pulls 5Gs and my heart not be out, might not be able to take that. So that would be one of the last things I would attempt I like on it. this earth. <laughs> Top fuel Go out, dragster. That's right. Top fuel oh. dragster. And, hey, and not only that, set the record when I did it. There you go. John Force, if you're listening to this. No. He's the only drag, drag racer I know. So. I don't, uh, oh you know. no, I know a guy, and 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 uh, Phillips got his number and everything. He's got one, mm. and he's the one that told me he we said you may not quickly. want to pull this one off. Everybody, oh, let's yeah. get this yeah. podcast to December before yeah. we worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I would like to go win one of them. Could you think of three hundred and sixty-five miles an hour? Because the record is three sixty. I like. So I'm gonna beat that by five miles an hour in three seconds flat. No, is it that mm. fast? Yeah, it's oh that yeah. Fast. Yeah, it's fast. Why don't you just like Good grief. call yeah. Elon Musk up and go to the moon or something? If you know that fast. <laughs> I have no no inkling to go to the moon. You don't like Chief? Uh, no. Hey, <laughs> I may be a rat, but no, I don't want to go to the moon for it. I don't uh, want to go to the moon either. Do you, we ain't been go to ahead. The moon. Ask him. I know it's on your mind. Hey, ask me. <laughs> Do you think we've been to the moon? No, that's a fit, Area 54. <laughs> they've got that roped off. They've got that roped off and guarded with guards. Okay, if that's a set. Okay, you're gonna claim. <laughs> I'm sorry for blowing everybody's speakers out. That the people of this great nation never have been to the moon. One of the greatest hey. accomplishments in American history. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Because I don't think we have either. <laughs> well, no, no. Cause here's the thing about it. Do you think the great people of this nation would lie to you? In a New York second. We're diving into politics, people. We're diving in. Um, So anyway, yeah, I don't think we landed on the moon. I think it was a setup. Martin? Uh, Oh, thanks. I'm Uh, not saying we didn't land on the moon. Just look at how far away the moon is. I think as a fabric of America and American history and growing up in the education system, I have to believe that we landed on he the said moon. He said he has to, boys. Because if not, I spent a lot of time wasted memorizing a bunch of crap that was thought to me wrong. So I'm right. going that we well, now, we went hold. there and we planted that flag on the moon and it was one giant leap for <laughs> mankind one, right. or whatever. One giant step for mankind. Were you watching that on TV when it I happened? Was. Yeah. yeah. You were too? Was it real, Goblin? It was real. You were like, yeah, that's, that's it. it. Did, I mean. Did we go there? Yeah. Good. We, well, got, no, no. we got we got FaceTime like three like the, years ago, and now we're just like yeah, live this is like the, the hypo- hypothetical, okay? That this Earth we live on is over four hundred billion years old. Huh? I got just one simple question. We wasn't even here four hundred billion years ago. So how are you gonna say, oh yeah, this thing is four hundred billion years old? I do have lots of questions about that. Yeah. I mean, no. no. I can't Google that. There's just yeah. some things, okay. That are unknowable. Yeah. There's it's some like, things like, that are yeah. unknowable. Yeah. Well, the moon yeah. thing is knowable. Uh, oh, it is. Because yeah. why won't they go back? Prove it. Uh, prove it, Martin. That's oh, what, no, no. That's no. one, that's no, no. one logical argument hey, I can never refute. The, the last yeah. thing I've seen on something on television was about, okay, that somebody is building rockets. Elon Musk. Okay, like a, they do a 747 plane to Thank put you. 300 people on it. And guess where the destination is? The moon? The moon. An asteroid. Well, here's. Well, what about <laughs> Mars? Well, here's it's what I'll tell you. M- you can, hey, you Mars. can forget that little trip for me. Here's what I'll I tell ain't you. making it. Look, Mr. Musk, I think, is a brilliant human. I mean, he's obviously on the next level, but. I ain't getting on nothing he makes because the stuff he makes right now only goes 300 miles before we got to plug into a wall. So until you get that issue fixed, I ain't going with you to the moon. And when it's cold outside, you ain't making it to Shreveport. No, uh, a- absolutely not. Hey, you got to pull cold. over in Applebee's me. parking baby, lot. Baby, baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> yeah, and uh, by the way, how did Applebee's get the exclusive charging station? Is that just so people will come in there? I don't I don't know. think anybody eating at Applebee's has got a Tesla. 
No offense to the good folks of Applebee's. I'm Applebee's just saying. Applebee's got a charging, no, charging station. But I think that their crowd more so follows Ricky Bobby. And that's where they ate as a family. And I'm fine with that. Hey, hey one of Ricky my, Bobby ain't got no Tesla. One of my <laughs> favorite jokes of all time, Larry the Cable Guy, we were in a golf tournament. I was the caddy. Willie was the guy playing golf. The golfer. Yeah. I think let's the go golfer. with the golfer. Yeah. And Larry yeah. the Cable Guy was playing yeah. with us. And Willie had some old fancy club, and the cable guy said, where'd you get that club off the wall of an Applebee's? And I laughed. Yeah, see? And I've laughed, and I've laughed. <laughs> see, that's what, the, that's what I'm talking about. The, the Applebee's of jokes Applebee's. are great. Larry Applebee's. knows his crowd and ours because they're one and the same. So, big Larry, he's, he's hey, aware. The, he's the Walmart guy. crowd, boy. <laughs> the, okay. I'm about to go to Home Depot and Walmart <laughs> as soon as we're done hey, with this. Yeah. So. Hey, hey, they, but Ooh. not to get soaped. Okay. I got plenty of that. You got Thanks to Brittany. Really Simmons yeah. soap. Brittany hey, use it, soap. JD. Oh. So anyway, back to this moon thing. Oh, we're mm. going back. There. I just I'm mad that nobody will tell me why we don't go back. I'm just mad that Is they it, won't come out and say yes or no. Like, but maybe that's what this UFO stuff open coming the files, out to about. Uh oh. Yeah. What? Uh oh. There's UFO stuff. Yeah. June. June. What? Air Force, Navy, and all that's releasing all their documents related to UFOs. Oh, they yeah. are? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> How interesting. Have you have you ever seen a UFO? Yes, I have. Of course. <laughs> he didn't yeah. even think yeah. about it. Oh, no, 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 no. Was that I, a, hey, was that a real a, question? No, no. You got to understand. Of course something. he okay. had. They seen if a Black Panther. If you've camped out. So have I. No, no. Look, if you've camped out under God's sky. Oh yeah. At night. Yeah. That's all Trust stuff. me, you see stuff, okay, that normal people wouldn't see. Because they're not they're not at laying out looking up at the stars. Especially if you're in a Ugh. cow pasture and then mushrooms is around. You see all yeah. kinds of stuff. Oh yeah. Were well, you laying yeah. in that mustard well, no, no, field? See, <laughs> see he, he's going the he same thing. Drink a lot of tea, Phil, don't he? When I told him I walked around in Vietnam with a fifth of whiskey in my pocket, he uh, said, Now all these stories you got in Nam Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. 100%. So that's why he brought in the mushroom. But no, no, look, hey, the best thing, funnest time we ever had, okay, we're duck hunting. And we're making a trip out west. Mm -hmm. And we're actually uh, Albuquerque. Yeah. We're north of Albuquerque, okay? It's 4.30 a.m., 6 degrees outside. We're throwing decoys out on the uh, Rio Grande River, mm -hmm. okay? And in a 45-minute period... We see 17, okay, different, you can call them falling stars, shooting stars, burning up planets, or whatever you want to saw, streaking yeah, across the sky. Yeah. Look, one of them was, it looked big as the sun, okay, and it was a big, giant red ball of fire going across the night sky, and it literally gets right above us and breaks into two pieces, a little piece trailer and a big one in front. And we watched this, and this is like 17 different things. And Phil just looked at me and he said, boys, what you're looking at there going across the sky on fire, that's a gigantic planet like the Earth. You know, so hey, you could call that an unidentified flying object. Because it's it just big. a big yeah. ball of so, fire going across the, I saw that. the so night sky. So you and Phil went and saw the movie Armageddon together? No, I was there. I've no. seen it. You, no. Oh, this is it real. Was, it was hey. more than one. No, no, this, it is, was, it this was, is real. It was the size was, of the sun. I wouldn't say look here. that hey, big. Look here. <laughs> it was, oh, hey, it was, it was, it was big. gigantic. It was big. Godwin has been with Cy in some very formative stories. No, 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 no. The look, sun no. reentering the hey. atmosphere. The Black yeah. Panther. Hey, God would hey. tell us a little more sensible side of all look, these look stories. Here. Hey, was that uh, uh, Mac Owens was there with us, wasn't he? Mac was there, Uncle yeah. Phil? I'll, Your I'll uncle. I'll call Uncle Mac right now. Yeah. He probably won't remember. Oh, that. he'll remember. Trust it me. Was, it was he will remember that. that. You can need to call him. Was that, like was a, that pre uh, or post CR? Huh? Was oh that boy. pre or post CR? Yeah. <laughs> that was post, or, probably. Or as Godwin likes to say, was that BC or AD? Yeah, that's right. All right. BC or Mac Owen, we're texting him right now. Hi. 
He'll tell you that's true. Uh, 17, a, a 17 different things. I would oh, say, I would say <laughs> more than 17. It was incredible, the amount of shit. Oh, so and, and theory of meteor showers. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was unreal to it see. It might have been. Yeah. No, no. It was but unreal it was, to see, to that's, witness. That's pretty cool. And everything looked, everything out there at in, in west at night. It, it looked, looked like, like fireworks. It when looked that thing like you broke could up, it looked touch, like fireworks. Touch the like, stars are so close. It looked yeah. so close. And the sun, a oh, no. planet? I, oh, no, no. I'm telling you, hey. It was big. I got to know, though, after that, did y'all kill them ducks? Oh, we, did we or, kill them? That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Well, yeah. That's the wildest thing. Look, the yeah. barometer everything, was all off that hey, morning. Hey, look, everything that morning from daylight, as soon as daylight broke, okay, here come the green wings hill up the river, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. And look, they're all flying about 50 yards high. Yeah, they don't yeah. want to get hit by that stuff either. They don't. Yeah. They've been no, shot no. at all night. No high groups. We, ne no we high didn't groups. see a duck over 50 yards high the whole yeah. time. That's yeah. awesome. And we hunted for three days, full limits. The reason I well here's the reason I ask because this year on my first hunt back after we lost my dad I was sitting there waiting on Clay Clay was gonna come pick me up we was gonna ride together and it was a little meteor shower in January this year was, I saw like seven or eight you know shooting stars whatever you want to call them and we hadn't been killing anything and then all of a sudden we show up that morning and it's just thick as fleas on a dog and I was mm -hmm. like I didn't even, no no huh. I didn't. I didn't even think about what she was saying about Yeah, that's why I was curious, because yeah. I've only seen it once, and yeah. we whacked them, and that's why I was curious. Y'all were in the yeah. middle of one. I was wondering if y'all whacked them, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. We did. No, no. Three yeah. days limit. But it was Three days day full day limit. Like that. And like you're talking about, and we didn't know, you know, usually we love watching high ducks when there's a really a flight on. Mm -hmm. No, these were all 50 yards high. Yeah, nothing. That's crazy. If they come over you, you can shoot them. They was killable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. meteor showers are two for two on killing ducks. You see one of them coming, go duck hunting. You right. Uh -huh. well, well, I didn't think about that. Uh, get more if the heavens are having in chaos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So are they. Maybe I'll fly low today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Duck yeah. your head. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Hey. Keep your head down. Right. Right. Well, let's take our last break. We'll be back right after Yeah, I didn't this. think of it. Hopefully That's Uncle cool. Matt gets back to me. Let's get back in that inbox. <laughs> Hello at duckcallroom.com, Johnny D. Yeah, what do we have? Go, we got to go quick uh, today because I now we that break caused us to have extra Bible verses, people. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. my friend Andrew, my man Andrew, has sent in emails. He is we, he's kind of my pen pal now. Mr. Snip. Mr. Uh, Snip. Uh, he uh, told uh, us a story of his vasectomy that was hilarious, but he sent a whole box of stuff cool. for Sai's birthday. He awesome. even sent Philip McMillan a Captain D's gift card since okay. he's the only person that still eats there. That's right, eat there. Okay. <laughs> he sent me an Arby's gift card. Go. Cool. He sent Cy a Hostess cupcake. Okay. Awesome. Okay. He sent me this knife in case I need to defend myself from oh, Cy. Okay. Hey, let me see that knife. <laughs> wow. Let's just see if it's pretty oh, good. Oh, no. Hey. <laughs> you give your defense hey. mechanism to Cy. That's a real knife, boys. Hey, you can give, that, you can give that one to Cy. It's in a child-proof container. So. But he also sent. Yeah. He, Child proof ain't another word I can't oh, open. Yeah. He <laughs> found this in his house. It is a chi, Chia Pet Uncle Si. I think we need to put it up there and let it grow. And let it grow, yeah, boy. Hey, it that's what I'm table, talking about. Put yeah. it up there and let it grow. And you remember when we were talking about the spelling bee? <laughs> uh -huh. This dude's son was like in Washington, D.C. in the spelling bee. This man wow. is a renaissance man, and I really like him. Mr. Snip, you may ought to look at getting your own podcast, because yeah. you're, you're quite he's the interesting, interesting fellow. Man, <laughs> Looks like he's got one. Yeah. Uh, and then Michael, I don't know from where. Martin, you opened that package, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Um, from golly. what's the North, North Fork. Fork. North Fork oh. Fishing. He uh, made us some custom bait. So oh, Godwin's yeah. got one out of the package right there. Oh, I was thinking it was the North Fork where the Rothman lives. Uh-uh. No. no, look at here. Well, that may be why he named his company. Well, hey, there you go, boy. Got me a personalized square bill. Oh, square bill, boys. I'm going to so. catch me a shallow big water bass bait. on Hey, shallow and water bait. And then this was sent to the duck call room as well. I only assume it's for you, Godwin. Home style uh, canned okra. dill is that, okra. Is okra. That pickled okra? Pickled okra. Oh. Mm. Dill okra. That was for Godwin. Holla, it had Godwin's uh, name on it. No, holla at your boy. Okra. Was, uh, hey, okra. Put that, hey, big man says he's Do you want it? Uh -huh. He don't want it. He oh, won't. He'll he, like no, it. Holla, holla well, at your I'm boy. A giving per, yeah. I'm a giving right. person. 
And uh, he and, said, he, and you can have I, I will share with everybody uh, here. Tell it ought me, to be against the law grow it. Tell Are you about to eat that I, right now? Yeah, of course I am because yeah. it says on the deal, Look. made by square-headed Germans. That's hilarious. Ooh, square-headed Germans? That's Pop. what it says. Square-headed, <laughs> yeah. Pop. Oop, pop. It's fresh. It's fresh. Oop. Oh, yeah. Are you about to eat Pizza? that? Am That's weird. Is he going to eat it? God, when you about don't half, eat okra, half, half the jar, he going to have about a half jar. I'd oh, be against the law to grow it. I think no. that's against the law to grow it. Come yeah. here. Come, Come here. here, boy. All right. Well, Get thanks for that. the deal. But that's pickled, so I've never tried a pickled okra. That's good. Right now, mm. put a camera I, on the man's I know. face. I know. Hey. I, know. Good. I know that's good, okay? Boy, is that good. Yeah, yeah I know good? that's good. Try one, guys. Is it slimy? No, no, it's not no, slimy. no. That's pickled. It's been pickled. Yeah, it's been pickled. I'm that's just so, right, whoever I'm, sent this send hey, an email. That's good stuff. I'm telling you. Now. I ain't even tried it yet. Well, I couldn't tell you. Well, try it. All right, Godwin mm -hmm. hates okra, and he just took a bite. He's chewing slowly. Got Martin. I, I'm telling you, that ain't gonna last long. Martin, Martin ate that whole thing. Martin went that's back good. for seconds. <laughs> Godwin yeah. still contemplating. I could eat these. Yeah. And Godwin would have oh, those. No. Somebody just changed Godwin's mind. Right. No, I ain't changed his mind. It tastes Oprah. like a dill pickle. Yeah, that's it. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It, oh, that's good stuff. Why it, did we send those over there? Hey, no, no, that's good stuff, I'm telling you. Pickle I'm not as, I'm not pickle as, okra is good. I'm not as giving as I once was. <laughs> <laughs> he said he changed his mind on giving that away now. Yeah. I thought Since they'd be tempted. gross. Now I'm interested. No, I'll get, well, go interested. get you one. They're there good. you go. I'm telling you, they're good. I don't think you can throw those. Yeah. That might go crazy. But anyways, I think that's all the birthday gifts. We got a lot of stuff in the mail this yep. week. Thank y'all for all the gifts. I would like to thank you. I would like thank to, you for um, the pickled oak yeah. look. I would like to thank the square-headed Germans. That's I would right. eat these the before German. I starve to death. But you eat them before I starve to death. Right. I then, eat these just for fun. Right. Should, I got two about? Bible yeah. verses yeah. this week, so should we uh, go ahead and throw those out? Or did you have one? Nope. I'm oh, yeah, I'm man. I'm relying All on right, you, we JD. got we got two this week because uh, Uncle Si brought one in a break that we have to mention. But the one I had ready, uh, number six twenty four through twenty six. This is for Si on his birthday. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. That's a good one. And your amen. children. Yep. And your children. Uh, and your children. Amen and amen. Anytime that's the Lord song. is looking at you and showing his face, that's a good one. That is I a agree. solid one. All right. And then I got to bring the one that God, Pastor Godwin over there brought up. And my man, Uncle Si, we were talking in the break about heaven. Uh, and Godwin got to preaching. I said, turn those cameras back on. This is too good. The world needs to hear it. <laughs> Uh, John 14, we're going to read a bunch today. We're going to go one through four. <laughs> John. Do, do not let huh. your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I'm going to go there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I'm going to come back uh, and I take get you, you to be with yep. me so that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place yes, that I am going. And if you skip on down, he, they say, hey, how we get there? We yeah, don't know hey. the place. And he says, yeah. the only way is, is through me, me boys. Is me. <laughs> that last little hey. part was the sign John David version of oh, yeah. John 14. Yeah. But While you was reading it, today, God. I had chill bumps just all over me. He's prepared a room for you guys and me. That's pretty cool. I hope I'm down the hall from you. Oh no, hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, hey, I just I don't want to be there. Hey, hey, I want to just be there. Period. <laughs> Amen to that. I just they wanna, put me in a bunk bed in your I, room. I, I don't care. You, I'm being yeah, honest. Hey, I'll sleep on the floor, buddy. Yeah, just get us there. Uh, there is going to be yeah. quite the meet and yeah. greet line for you in yeah, heaven yeah. one day. Well, so. si oh no. Jesus going to have him whoops. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. just saying. <laughs> Jesus going to have like a couple 10,000 or so oh, years yeah. to do the yeah. meet and greet. Yeah. Si going to have at least 100. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Every day. <laughs> every day. Every day. Si going to get a fresh Woo. batch every day. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, look, Si, yep. happy birthday to you. Look, man, we love you. Hopefully, we get to do another one of these next year. Oh, right here will. on the Duck Call Room. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. We gone.